And here with Ross Smith and me to get you ready for Sunday's match is Timbers defender Vitas. Vitas, before we get into Sunday, briefly, I want to I wanna talk about this week and what it's been like. You know, Caleb Porter was pretty open and honest about the performance, the disappointment in the performance uh, in San Jose. So how has kind of the response been from your group? I mean, after the game, of course, everybody were like with uh, bad emotions, sad, and we don't accept the fact that we lost, but we need to deal with it, and the season goes very quick. You don't have time to overthink about it, so you just step to another day, know your mistakes, you do analyze, and we're already looking forward to the home game. You're a fun-spirited person, as everybody has come to know, but is there a different side of you, a different personality after a loss that stays around for a couple of days? I mean... I'm trying to judge myself, not judging anyone else. So you look for your mistakes and thinking what you could do better. And that's something where every player I think needs to do and they're all doing. We just think about what we could do better and just think about it. And then of course you need to forget about it and just move forward. You can't keep thinking about it all week. Yeah, there's so many neat relationships amongst the team, but one in particular, Marco Farfan. And when Jake and I chatted to him a couple weeks ago, he said before his first game, you actually text him when he was playing LA to say, good luck. And there's yeah. so many individual elements to a team game and there's the competitiveness, but I thought that was a nice moment that you, you send him that text. What's that relationship like? Yeah, I mean, we're sitting right next to each other in the dressing room and our relationship is very good. We've been playing like uh, every day who's going to do shakes for each other. So <laughs> I'm wishing him the best and he does the same to me. So we are trying to lift each other up who can like competitive way, who can yeah. be better. But it's not something we are wishing each other like to get injured or, or stuff like that because it's not up to us. We need to do our best and see coach who is who's gonna pick. Just quickly, what is shakes doing? Shakes for one uh, another? Protein shakes, protein shakes. <laughs> After shakes the game, right. Sorry, protein <laughs> shakes. Yeah, so we just make interesting. Every day we have a basketball, so we just play who's gonna do shakes. And he's beating me every time now. So. <laughs> that's, that's true. Arvita Sabonis, the yeah, Lithuanian legend, would be you gotta yeah. get up, get that's up towards, uh, towards his level <laughs> yeah. in basketball. Uh, let's get into Saturday, uh, Sunday's match against Atlanta United. First, the Western Conference standings after the loss to San Jose on Saturday. The Timbers now in third in the West, but still just one point out of first place on 17 points. Now in the East, Atlanta, they're just below the red line. 11 points, 3-4-2. and two. They have scored 19 goals this season. The Timbers have 20. It should be a high-scoring affair. The Timbers on Atlanta is our Advocare training report. right out of the gate you saw the talent and you saw in, in their manager um, you know Martino uh, Tata that they're gonna play a very aggressive approach they're a pressing team and, and they want uh, to hit you in transition and um, with the talent they have uh, when they're able to execute that they're extremely difficult to manage uh, they're a dangerous team really talented and like I said the way they play is extremely aggressive and you have to be aware of their pressing and their transition and and their talent. They are a very good uh, team and they have a uh, very good player too. And uh, we need to be in focus and not give a space, not give, not make uh, uh, mistakes uh, because it's very important and uh, try to win uh, this weekend. I'm oh, very excited uh, knowing that uh, they are a very good team. They came into the league doing very well. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a game of uh, great, two great teams that like to play the ball, that like to keep the ball and rotate the ball. But uh, we are very excited that uh, we've been on the way on the road for two games now. So uh, coming back home to uh, in front of our fans again is uh, it's going to be nice for us, and um, we we'll work hard to give them the three points. Ross, your local Ford stores look ahead on Atlanta United. Well, they're an expansion team that is helping raise the MLS standards in many ways. But if we look at the team itself. Tata Martino, who Kayla Porter just mentioned, perhaps one of the most highly acclaimed managers to come into the league. Managed at Argentina, managed at Barcelona, and he's got a handful of talented players to pick from. This man, for me, is perhaps one of the best players in the league. Miguel Almiron, there were rumors before that Arsenal were interested in him. He decided to come to Atlanta for many reasons, but the main one being Tata Martino. This man, as well, has been scoring goals. Hector Villalba, who will be coming up in direct opposition to the man beside me right now with Vitas, plenty to deal with, and then up front, Kenwin Jones. This man has played a cross in the Premiership. He's got the same sort of frame as Fernando Adi, very athletic as well, knows the sight of goal, knows how to combine with the players around them. So a real handful with these attack-minding players, and they're doing it without their main striker, Joseph Martinez, who has been out injured. 
And so you talk all about the attack. You've been on the other side, defender Vitesse. In the week building up to it, do you rub your hands together thinking, right, this is a good measuring stick for, for where I'm at uh, personally, individually, and as a team? Yeah, I mean, every game you just want to beat your winger. You don't want to let him do anything. So every time is a challenge, challenge and we are looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it too, especially with our home fans mm -hmm. when everybody is watching. It's a Mother's Day. So, I mean, we're going to show our best. It's a league that has teams with different styles, um, but a lot of parity, which has been talked a lot about. You've, across your journey, professional journey, have played in a lot of leagues. How would you compare preparing for matches, preparing for the different teams in MLS with what you went through in Holland in your previous stops? I mean, what I could say is that MLS is the league where you don't need to look to standings. You don't need to look where the team is standing above the line. You know, it doesn't matter. All the teams are showing quality and every team can beat everyone. So even showing the when we went to San Jose and they just beat us 3-0, shows that you need to be focused and need to be every week ready for to show your best and really do very well to, to beat them, you know? What do you think about where your career has progressed? We were speaking to you before the game in, in San Jose about your career prog progression. Yeah. How happy are you now being in Portland? I'm very happy. I mean, me as a player, what is good that every time you move somewhere, you do step forward, not back. So all my career was like, let's say, stepping step high, step higher. And coming now here and having the, such a players in the team where you can really see the quality and like good performances, I'm really enjoying to play and I'm enjoying to live in here too. We know that you like to get around the uh, Portland area to experience life outside of the football pitch. Do you get recognized? Do people see oh, you yeah. in the streets? Oh, yeah. Do they chat with many, you? Many, many friendly people just say hi, like take a picture, but it's never in a bad way. It's always positive, always just some small chats about whatever city, Timbers, Army, doesn't matter. So <laughs> I'm enjoying a lot. I'm a public person, so I like to just hang out in the city. And I imagine you don't mind staying around to chat with fans, with no, supporters no, no. about the game or other things? I mean, it's fun. I'm enjoying. That's part of our life to be recognized and uh, it's fun, it's mm -hmm. good emotions. It'll be the two top t scoring teams in the league on Sunday, Timbers and Atlanta United. It's a 1 p.m. start. If you can't make it to Providence Park, watch the match on ESPN or listen on 1029 750 The Game.